Hello, in front of me I have Samsung Galaxy Fit 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this tracker with your phone. Let's start by uh, downloading and installing the Galaxy Wearable app on our phone. To do it, let's open the App Store. In my case, it's gonna be a Google Play Store because I'm using the Android device. In the App Store, let's tap on search and type in Galaxy Wearable. Then tap search and you should see this page right here. Tap on the install button to download and install the app. And after the app is done installing, tap on open to open it. Now, let's swipe up on the screen and you should see the list of devices. Here, scroll down and find the Galaxy Fit 2. Tap on it to select it. Here, tap on allow button. And now we need to allow the permission for the location. So let's tap on it to allow it. And here you can allow or deny the rest of them. I'm just gonna allow them for the sake of the video. Now let's tap on pair. Here we need to tap on OK. And after you tap on OK, you're, you're gonna be redirected to the uh, Google Play Store again, or rather to App Store. And as you can see, here it is. It says Galaxy Fit 2 plugin, and it's a, this is the plugin for this tracker, and we need to install it. So let's tap on install button. And after the plugin is done installing, you can go back to the Galaxy Wearable app, and you're gonna get redirected again. And we need to install another plugin, which is called Samsung Accessory Service. Let's install it. After this plugin is done installing, you can go back to the Galaxy Wearable app. Here, let's tap on Agree. And as you can see, apparently we need to allow the access to location all the time for some reason for this app to work. It's it's dumb, but what can I say? Let's tap on allow. And here let's tap on allow in settings. Then allow the all the time. Let's go back to Galaxy Wearable app. And now uh, we need to allow some permissions for the uh, Galaxy Fit 2 plugin. So let's allow them. You can also deny them, I believe, but I'm not sure if the app is gonna work if you deny them. And Right here we can log in into a Samsung account if you want to for the backup and restore option. If you want to log in, tap on sign in button. If you want to skip this step, tap on skip. I just, I'm just gonna tap on skip. Right here we can enable, uh, or rather allow Galaxy Wearable app to run in the background. Basically uh, you can allow it to not close uh, when it's not being used. To do it, tap on OK. It's gonna redirect you to settings and there you can uh, disable basically the battery optimization for the Galaxy Wearable app. But I don't want to do it, so I'm gonna tap on skip. Here, let's tap on OK to link the uh, tracker with the plugin. And right here, we can allow uh, the notifications. To do it, tap on allow. And then you need to select the Galaxy Fit 2 plugin and then tap on allow notification access right here and then tap allow. And then you can tap on back to go back to the Galaxy Wearable app. Of course, if you didn't, wa didn't want to allow the notifications, you can also tap on cancel. Okay, and when you see this page, that means that your device your tracker is paired with your phone and it should be working as you can see, you can use it now. And that's how you pair this device with your phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.